college in 1927. There were both white and blacks who wanted to attend college and at the same time study at an institution of higher learning. In Houston, the superintendent of HISD went to his Board of Education and made a proposal that both the white junior college and what was then called the Colored Junior College would be self-sustaining institution and that they would use high school to have crisis. By the time we reach 1934, the University of Houston, through their legislators, presented a proposal to the state asking that the University of Houston would become a four-year institution. But it was granted with the condition that the Color Junior College would be a branch of the university and that it would become uh, a four-year institution in two years. And therefore, in 1936, we had Houston College for Negroes. But when the school first started, that was one building. The law school, the, the graduate school, the college liberal arts were all in the Fairchild building. So it evolved gradually as more money was given to the university for more building. My grandfather went here, my great aunt went here, and then my cousin went here. I'm gonna be the third generation graduating from TSU. It really, I felt like I was continuing the legacy. Several generations of my family were educated here. I really believe that education plays a very strong role in the upbringing of the generations. Not just for, you know, the knowledge sake, but knowing your history, knowing how things came into being as they are. 